I can't get over this DJ Flo's pose. Like, this outfit, I have tried to look past this outfit, but I can't. Ever since she posted this days back, like, I have had these pictures on my gallery. Like, I would just go screw, look at her pose, and I would just smile. Like, I just love it in particular. Hey, babies, and how are you all doing? Welcome back, guys. Let's dive straight to the point without wasting much time. Meanwhile, talking about liking and loving, if there is one housemate, I really love her ways. But show is Amaka. Yes, Amaka of the Level Up season. Honestly speaking, if someone had told me that Amaka is going to be one housemate that would not be really trending on the social space, I would not believe that. I would not believe that. Knowing fully well the way she even left the Level Up house and knowing that she is even amongst the bubbly housemate that season. Uh-uh. How would you talk about level up season? You would not talk about Fina and Amaka. Like, how is that even possible? But baby girl has been all about her business. She has been all about her work, her education. Like, yo, 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 yo. She has been pursuing her dreams, for, like, focused on her dreams. You would not even know that she's actually a BBN candidate. You would never know. Yo, I would look, go to her IG. I would just smile and be like, this girl, I never see this one coming. Because I was thinking I would see her all over the social space, just like Fina is. I was thinking I'm going to see her like that. But no ways, nothing as that has happened. You know, she actually surprised us. Meanwhile, talking about Amaka, if there is this housemate that is reminding me of her, this season is Onyeka. Yes, Onyekus Mekus. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you also feel the same way. When you look at Onyeka, do you feel like, ah, this is Amaka? When it comes to being nosy, like gossip, gossip, this, they are the same. <laughs> when it comes to intelligence, because Amaka is also intelligent, guys, they are really the same. Like, she's one housemate that reminded me of Amaka. Now, imagine Onyeka leaving this house this season and you don't get to hear about her on the social space. Do you think that is even possible? That's how I feel about Amaka before, you know, she went mute, face her business, travel abroad and doing her thingy. Okay, meanwhile, talking about Onyeka, Onyeka has been trending a whole lot. Let's see some of the reasons. Now, one of them is Swabali, her dog, you know, because of um, when the um, the family came, you know, and was actually sending their shout outs, Onyeka was talking about her dog. Oh, where is Wabali? Where is Wabali? You would think she's actually talking about a woman being. You know, you don't know it's about her dog. Where is Wabali? Oh, Wabali did not show. Wabali did not show. Out of, <laughs> out of everybody that spoke to her, the mom and the sisters, we have the mom and her other sister, the mom and her sister, Bem Bem, that is actually trendy. We'll still even talk more about her. And then Chizoba spoke to her. And what she's I said, is Wabali, Wabali. <laughs> so now Wabali is actually trending on the social space. Though her sister revealed that the reason why the dog did not appear on the video is because the dog does not want to stay in place. Superior says, Wabali, come come famous past me. Onye, can you do this one? Wahala, bicycle. Yes, now, a dog of a celebrity, what do you expect? And then she spoke about it. You know, one thing we've been celebrity, especially from this platform, is that it's a huge platform. When you speak about a thing, you have people who love you already. They will start looking for ways to bring that into life. That's just it. Okay, Kukwa says, guys, Mwabali is saying vote for Onyeka, guys. Give Onyeka the win, Biko. Onyeka fans, have you guys heard? The dog said vote Onyeka. Okay, now, Onyeka's sister has been trending. The Bem Bem, I'm telling you guys about, like, I told you guys about how she said, oh, she had a lot she wanted to say to Onyeka on screen, you know, but she had to hold herself. And then someone said, thank God both of you didn't come to that house. This would have been me at the end of the season. That is looking shattered and tattered. You know, Bem Bem now replied and said, sometimes I even thank God too because I am a fire. This housemate tolerates a lot too. Guys, are you hearing? I think it is very easy to even say this from the outside. Forget it. I think it is very easy to say this from the outside. Like when you're from the outside, you'll be like, oh, this house are taking shit. If I come there, eh, I go do this one. I go do that one. That is the situation right now with Onyeka's sister. Because she says she's fired that your faves are taking a lot. And she says, between us, she is the calm one. That should tell you all you need to, uh, all you need to know. So she said between herself and Onyeka that Onyeka is the calm one. Imagine this Onyeka we are seeing here is the calm one. Meaning that she, she's actually bringing fire and brimstone whenever you see her. And she is the person Onyeka said she would have come to the house with. I've even forgotten what Onyeka said happened. Why they did not do the interview. Oh, they did interview together. She did with her and also did with Chizoba. And then they chose that of Chizoba over that of the other one. Yes, that was what she said. Meanwhile, it is very funny. The sister said, Onyeka is calm where she is. You guys are seeing Onyeka's personality here. Like, every now and then, she's receiving drugs. And then this one is saying, Onyeka is actually the calm one. Here, yeah. Wahala be like bicycle. 
Meanwhile, who else noticed how sophisticated Onyeka's mom was looking? Like she was looking young and looking posh. Okay, anonymous participant says Onyeka will never lose sight of Ozzy after seeing his home and family. Hey, they've been coming for Onyeka. They said Onyeka that is all about the connection now that he has seen Ozzy's family, seen how where they they did the um shout at ease or more so Onyeka no go go anywhere. So Nash says Ozzy called Onyeka's family his second family. But what's trending right now is Onyeka the gold digger. Make it make sense, guys. Back to voting. Yes, they are calling Onyeka the gold digger. That she's because she has actually always talked about how she needs rich men and all of that. I think that's why people are dragging her. Meanwhile, you guys should let Onyekus Bekus be. Talking about Onyekus Bekus, yes, she has also been receiving some drags. Meanwhile, I think she did overly too much last night night why is that so the housemates they actually told to i think it replicates the housemates the ex-housemates write some things about them about how they are and how they are now and all of that so the housemates are to choose i think two housemates or thereabouts that they would actually do that for all housemates made their choice freely free and square when it gets to victoria and them kelly ray's cho choice they started imposing housemates on them like, I don't understand why. Onyeka started lamenting, ah, uh, Victoria, you should choose um, Ruthie now. Choose Ruthie and Dami, they are your friends. Imagine that. I have noticed, some, noticed something about Onyeka. She's actually gone in for it a quarrel or a fight because ever since Ruthie, Chinwe, them left, she would actually want to drop one or two words. If Victoria is somebody who actually is always out for drama, she would have actually caught her there on her words and tell her what's the meaning of that. In fact, if it was maybe Onyeka reversed to be the case and Victoria was telling Onyeka imposing it on her to actually choose Dami them, knowing the way the situation ship was, you know, how they were giving them little attitude when the Dami left, she would actually come for her, but no, she kept mute because, you know, she would be like, no, the other one be my problem now. Onyeka started imposing, choose Ruthie or Dami now, choose these people or this one. You know, I'm like, yo, Onyeka, you do too much sometimes, baby. Meanwhile, do not forget she's the head of house. Yes, she's actually the head of house while the decision was being carried out. But that does not give her the room to actually, you know, impose it on them for um, Victoria and Kelly Ray on whom to choose. So because of that, people have been dragging her. Um, someone said, take Ruthie and Cassia since you were close to them. You know, because even Victoria wanted to take Sean, her partner. But when he took Sean, you know, um, someone said, I tire now by force. I like Kelly's response to her. She too do. Very jealous and bitter. As others are moving on, she's in bitterness. Victoria and Ruthie were not close. She was close to DJ Flo. Exactly. Exactly. She was close to DJ Flo. That's the truth. DJ Flo was that lady that was really... In fact, they had DJ Flo and Victoria ship as then. You know, Onyeka is finishing me this night. Kelly and Victoria are her next victim. Like, I don't understand why she would actually want to talk about it. Every opportunity she has... She would want to talk about it. Imagine if someone is talking about most of the behavior she displayed this season every every now and then. Like, I don't get it. She's just very lucky that Victoria is a calm person. If not, they would have actually had disagreement last night. I have loved, unloved, loved, unloved her many times till I have learned to accept her with her craziness as one of my favorite too, says Caro. I think this is an Onyeka stand going through with on how dramatic Onyeka is. You know, someone says she has Ozzy. What does she want from Victoria? She shares food and bed with Ozzy. What does she want? She will never succeed called Victoria. Never. So their fans are really coming out, out to ask Onyeka, what does she want from Victoria? Then Favor says, why is Onyeka forcing Dami and Ruthie on them though? Victoria and Kelly Ray have made their picks. So rest. Meanwhile, you know the funny thing? Even Suj was left out to choose Dami. And then um, Onyeka started saying that she can, that she should try and let Kelly Ray choose Dami. You understand? So that if Kelly Ray did not choose Dami, that she would not take Tori or see from Suj. Because she does not know what she would talk about Dami. That it's going to be bad to actually speak negative about Dami because... All she has in her head right now about Dami is negativity and it's not going to be fair if others are speaking positive things about others and then she chose to say negative things because Dami has actually built that in her head. She thought she is someone until she noticed that she wanted her to hit her so that she would actually be disqualified, that she's not a good person. Even Suj said the same thing that the event that happened recently had actually covered his head with whom she really is. Wahala be like bicycle. This housemate really got to these people. I mean the ex-housemate. Alright, coming from Miss Gidget. I was never close to Dami. 
but this is her screaming go go for it girl because everything scattered she is denying her relationship with her are you people just biased on purpose or what so this person shared a video of Onyeka you know telling Dami to go for it as a tonita sheep when they newly came into the house for the second time okay Wendy says I can't wait to hear what Onyeka will pen down for OC I'm already emotional he really did hold her down this last two weeks so cute to watch Always be an Mbacheka's dynamic for me. One of my favorite watch the season. Osiloke. Hmm. Osiloke moment. Wahala. So any which way, this is people actually waiting for the moment when Yaka would speak about OC. Of course, I have always said that these people's... um. Bro, should I call it bromance? No, it's not bromance because they are two ladies and two guys together. So it's just their family thinking they have with them. It's just family. They found each other in the house. I can't wait to see their sheep outside. Priceless says they don't want Victoria to pick DJ Flo that was with her during her two weeks of being inside her shell. DJ Flo brought Victoria out. DJ Flo leaving almost took her back to her shell until she saw her sister in Cassia. Those two impacted her stay in the BB house. I also accept that part. In fact, there is uproar in the social space because of this thingy. When I tell you Onyeka will open 15 burner to monitor Victoria on social media, I lie you not. This her behavior is scary now. Did Victoria tell others who to choose in and out of the house? Everyone is always in her business. Yo-Yo says, I need Victoria friends or brothers to bookmark videos of that girl and all those girls talking about her and show her after the show. Aura for aura, because honestly, I don't understand. Any which ways, guys, you don't need to be perturbed or disturbed about what is going to happen post-show. Post-show, everybody is going to be kept at arm's length, except you're close with the person, except situation she bring you guys together. So it's not something to actually bother about. I'm sure the housemate know the energy they get from people and how they would handle it afterwards. Any which ways, guys, what do you think about all of this with just, just right now? How do you also feel when they were actually trying to, you know, take people they would um, speak about. Do you also feel the same way just like the next seasons? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so, so much guys for always sailing with me. Bye for now babies.